Hi devs, welcome to a new series. <clears throat> so today I'm just going to be going over some basics of uh, MAUI and the MVVM um, design pattern. Um, the reason why I'm using MAUI now is because, well, you can see we've got all these benefits. We've got Android, iOS, Mac, uh, Mac, Mac OS, MAUI, Tizen, Windows, well, the, the, the main ones are obviously Android, iOS, Mac OS, and uh, Tizen and Windows. I'm not 100% sure what Tizen is. Maybe someone that's watching this can tell me. Just just pop it down in the comment section. I've never heard of it before. Um, okay, so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, doing some basics we're just going to make a quick login form just so you can get the feel of um, what mvvm is and also what maui is um, if you've used um, xamarin forms before you might kind of you can you might see the the, the, the similarities with uh, xamarin forms and maui um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. Uh, so first we're going to choose the .NET MAUI app. <clears throat> I'm just going to call this MVVM uh, login form and just click. Uh, just We're just going to choose the, oh, something's happened to the microphone. Uh, we're just going to choose the dot, uh, .NET 6 and then click create just let that load up just opened on the other screen for some reason what happened there we go maui starts off as a little project or set up for us to run it might take a few seconds to kind of get ready you might notice a few like errors don't worry about it just give it time it's just working it's it's magic and I'll uh, I'll come back when that's done okay that was pretty much instant <coughs> anyway um so first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna delete all these components we can keep the vertical stack layout but we can just get rid of the uh, the rest of the stuff and we'll just have it like that uh, and then we'll need to go back in into our uh, main page .xaml .cs, and we'll just get rid of this method and we'll get rid of this variable so we just we just got it like that uh, so first of all we are going to include our mvvm um, package uh, this is just um, something that Microsoft have put together it just makes MVVM a lot easier for us to work with and it's called uh, community toolkit.mvvm it's by Microsoft just double click that and then install and then just click OK accept and once that's installed we can close our NuGet and then we can come over to the side project so I'm going to show you um, I'm sure there's plenty of MVVM um, tutorials out there I'm going to show you uh, first of all let's have a quick look at this uh, and see what this is doing okay we'll keep that I was going to delete it but this is actually important so uh, if we go up to our solution, right click on that and go down to add and then we'll go to new project and we're just going to add a class library. This is going to contain all of our um, our uh, mod, uh, <laughs> our view models. So we'll just call this um, MVVM login form and we'll just add library to the end login form library and that's going to be a dotnet 62 let's just delete this class because it's unneeded and we're going to add a folder and inside this folder we're just going to actually call this view model view models and we're going to add a single class and this is going to be called main p 
page view model and then click enter um <clears throat> actually i did make a bit of a mistake it's not that important but if we go i added the new get um mvvm to the wrong pack uh, to the wrong um project i've added it to this login form we just need to actually add it to our um our library um so let's do community tool toolkit dot mvvm and then we'll just add that to our library and we're not going to actually need that in in our login form so I'm going to go to installed and I'm just going to uninstall that it's just it just it's just unneeded it's resources that don't need to be used so let's close these and now if we come on to, come down to let's close this for now if we go down to our our library uh, double click on this let's change this to public and um, this is going to be partial and we're going to put, um, they're going to extend this with observable object. And that will automatically add a reference to the community kit, community toolkit. Right, so the login form, let's think what we need. We're going to have um, string, it's going to put user. Just going to put username. Uh, we're going to have first name, last name. I'm just going to. I'm just going to. It's not. It's not much of a login form, but uh, I'm just going to have that for now. Uh, it's. It's. That'll do. Um, so we're going to need to put and make these objects. Uh, sorry properties so put observable property above it and underneath that we're going to put uh, notif uh, notify property changed for um, brackets name of and in brackets again we'll just leave that for a second um, and down here we're going to create a, a private void we're not going to make a public void so public void and this is just going to be a uh, this uh, um, alert user um, and this is this functions when we click a button it's going to just pop up and it's going to give us our username our first name and last name so to show an alert in Maui, um, first of all, this needs to be async, and we need to put await, and we'll put um, await application, application dot current dot this. Uh, sorry, uh, main page dot display alert. So our title will be my details, and then let's concatenate by doing um, username. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, username, and then in um, bracket or oh, in um, curly braces let's put capital username you're probably thinking uh, where's that coming from well what happens up here is because we're using this observable property it's actually updating it in um, ba -ba -ba -ba, in this go down to observable 
property and we have a look in here as you can see get username and set username um, yeah it, it just it makes everything a little bit more streamlined so we we, we use um, when we're getting a property we use capitals like so hopefully that made sense I don't know if it did or not um, then we'll just put a uh, first name okay, again capital and last name can't type last name there we go full stop okay so up here um, we're gonna actually let me just remove this uh, I'm gonna let's just copy that and we're just gonna create a private let's put message private string uh, message equals and then we'll just put that there and then we what we can do here is name of and then we'll just put message sorry um, there you go and then we can just add message there we're gonna have to add a few more things so we'll add okay and can so they're just the, the, the names of the buttons you can add whatever you want there okay this we will just add a relay command because that's going to be for the button and we can now come over to our main page .xaml.cs and we'll just bind uh, before we do that actually we need to add um, if you come into our login form and we'll right click add project and we'll just use a login form library okay and now we'll just binding context equals new and we'll say mvvm library dot view models dot main page view model and now let's go into our main view and we need to reference um, this so we'll do xml ns uh, view model equals 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 m v v m library and then um, uh, no sorry then we'll do x data type and we're gonna um m v v um, um, let's just copy that. it's new model. MVVM login form library dot view models dot main page view model. Uh, 
I think. Oh, why did I do that? Um, I think. That doesn't make sense, actually. There you go. <laughs> it's because I was I was referencing this twice. Um, that should work now. <clears throat> Let's build that. Make sure everything's working. And we've got no errors, so we're looking good. Now, let's add a few text boxes. <clears throat> In Maui, they're actually called entries. So let's just add an entry. We'll add a placeholder. And that is literally... No, actually, we do need to add some more stuff. We'll add text. But we'll come back to that in a minute. So that's the username. In fact... Let's be a little bit lazy and also save time. So we've got username, first name, last name. I think that's all we've got. Yeah, that's fine. So we've got them and we'll just add a button to. Okay, um, so our text, um, like in the past when I've done any tutorials, I've always had the code behind um, and to do that you choose click, um, in fact you'd first, sorry you wouldn't, you'd use uh, text changed and then you'd add your code uh, into the background of this button. Obviously with MVVM you, that's not how it works. Um, and to actually get the text or set the text, you'll need to bind with our view model. Um, and it's already got a reference to our view model up here, so it knows where it's getting the data from. Um, so all we need is the names. So this one is going to be the username. This one's going to be the first name. This one is going to be the last name. And the button's just a little bit different. Um, it uses a command. And we just bind that to the alert command, alert user command. So. <clears throat> That's all set up now. We'll just add the placeholders. So we'll just add the username, first name, last name, and we can give this a run now, I believe. And here is our form. Let's just make it a little bit more, more closed, a bit smaller. Um, let's just add Lee, Dembe, oh actually the username, uh, let's put, uh, my name is Lee, um, first name is Lee, and then last name is Dembe. Then hopefully when we click alert me, a little alert box is going to pop up and tell us our details. 3, 2, 1, and there you go. As you can see, uh, MVVM just makes everything so much neater. You don't have a load of code in the background where it just gets all messy. All we've got in our um, background, in our back, the back, co the code behind um, <coughs> is the binding. And then we've got a project that will just be full of all of our view models for each page that we have. Um, or it, um, uh, um, 
we could even have different projects for different what is it <laughs> views so uh, it just makes everything so much more neater and also we can actually if we wanted to get rid of this and change it for something else we've still got that code so we don't have to rewrite any code we can just add another object and just bind it with the element and the code the view model anyway thanks for watching guys uh, appreciate you tuning in um, if you've got any questions ask me in the comments if you could give me a like that'd be fantastic and if you you know if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel appreciate your time and in the next video we are going to start a new project which is a top secret goodbye